I don't know, has anyone ever done like a b-boy break dancing celebration? I'm sure you Let could. Let me know. No, I mean like on a field though. No, I think no. The, the grass or I only watch soccer because it's the better sport, but. Whoa, shots fired. Hey everyone, Steven Weatherly here, outside linebacker. I've been playing football since I was about six years old. This is my friend Kamu, and he's gonna teach me how to code today. That's right, today I'm gonna teach Steven Weatherly how to code in a way that's personalized just for him, making moves on the football field. I'm 13 years old from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I love mountain biking, marine biology, and soccer. I've taken two courses with ID Tech, and my favorite would probably be the video editing with Dude Perfect. Okay, before we get started, I need to know, What's your coding experience? To be honest with you, I have very limited coding experience. The last time I coded anything was my high school robotics team. What about you? I've been coding since I was eight. Bruh. I started with a basic program called Scratch, which is primarily similar to the one mm -hmm. I'm gonna be showing you today. It's just drag and drop code. Okay, I can definitely do drag and drop, so I'm excited to get started. What did your last celebration dance look like? My favorite move to do on the football field for a sack celebration, it's like an explosion. So imagine Cam Newton, but if he took it all the way to the outside. I just scream like I'm going super sane. For the most part. <laughs> so my last celebration was actually a penalty and I accidentally poked the guy in the eyes. So I looked at the two referees and asked them not to throw the flag and they didn't. And so that was literally my celebration. It was no, no, good, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Josh Jacobs. What is Vexcode VR? Vexcode VR is the language used for the new generation of VR headsets. No. Okay, give me another one. What is Python? Uh, a Python is a- No, like the language, the coding language. Uh, the language of a Python? You have to talk to a member of Slytherin for that one. No, no, like the language- For, for computers. computers. My bad, so you gotta specify. So Python is the uh, coding language used that is uh, connects multiple devices on one network, almost in the pattern of a snake. Mm -mm. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, are you? Let's do it. All right, so what do we wanna open up first? First, we're gonna wanna open up our browser, which mm -hmm. you can just put Vex code VR. Okay, and then you can also just close a little tutorial because who needs it? I like this, did I do this? No. Oh, okay, yeah, well, no. Who needs a tutorial when you have me, you know? Whoa there, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're gonna try to get to the number 45. And then you know we, why you picked 45? It's just the number I no. picked. No, 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 I know why you picked it. Cause I, I wore 45 in college. Hey, if you add 45 plus 45 plus one, you get 91, two. So do you remember what kind of blocks we'll be using to move it? A drivetrain. Yep. I got something. Oh, uh, always been that student that did way more than the teacher asked me to just to see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like you're doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that, where you teacher, yeah. That's um, what I did when I was learning it. Yep, if you play it. Huh, bam, one, two, ready, and try me now. Did you switch? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, well, hey, hey, you gonna flip? No, <laughs> like a 300 pound man has done that before. Tyron Smith, right in my eyes. <laughs> we were hurt. And that's why I wear goggles. Product placement, all right, keep going. Once after a great play, what do we want? We want a celebration. That's right. So what we need to do. Change the speed. Keep well, on. there's actually a limit to the velocity you can set it at, because this is supposed to imitate a real world vehicle. You know, you can only run so fast. You Says know? you, I am not limited. <laughs> I don't know, has anyone ever done like a b-boy break dancing celebration? I'm sure you Let could. Let me know. No, I mean like on a field though. No, I think no. the, the grass or I only watch soccer because it's the better sport, but. Whoa, shots fired. Set it to 250%. 251%. 252%. 53%, go ahead. 54%. Do and nine, 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 <laughs> nine, 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 nine. We can do this all day. <laughs> Sorry, but there's a limit to the speed you can go. Here, how's this for you? See? Go ahead. Stop. Hey, <laughs> on your own computer. <laughs> We're gonna print. Winner. Oh, I see. Well, let's, let's you're amazing. Let's Is that what you're gonna put? Seriously? I mean, if only I'm gonna see it, absolutely. Hashtag affirmations. Tell yourself that you're beautiful every day. And then play it. Mm -hmm. Our variable's gonna reach two. <laughs> it works! <laughs> and it wrote, and it wrote, you're amazing. 
And that's it. How did you enjoy Vex Code VR? This is really fun. This is a more technical version of something I had the chance to experience almost 20 years ago. But this is a lot more user friendly. So this yeah. is a lot of fun. I think it's really important for kids and adults to uh, experience this. Just. To, to gain another appreciation yeah. for technology and the everyday things we interact with. And you never know, it could come in handy one day. So thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.